How's it going, everybody? Uh, this is Rob with Twitter Marketing Tricks, and uh, I'm super excited uh, about being here. Uh, just the uh, the crowd of dynamic people that I had. I had a, a phenomenal call, uh, actually using Skype uh, with uh, with one of the followers. Just uh, really, really excited about it. I tell you guys, if you are not on Skype, you definitely need to be on Skype. Uh, it, it it's already the wave. It is the wave of the future for you guys, uh, businesses that are gonna be going global pretty soon. I tell you this, you want to be on Skype, okay? Uh, just uh, absolutely phenomenal. I think I might have left the link there, uh, so definitely check back through the uh, prior videos, and uh, you should be able to find that, and you can go ahead and download that for free. All right, uh, last thing we were talking about, uh, we were talking about F-Web traffic and Twitter ties, and uh, these are two powerful tools. Uh, so you definitely want to make sure that you are using them. We also talked about as far as following people and uh, the, the, the correct amount of people that you follow. And I said, you know, generally if you've got under 1,000 people, you can be under two, two 3,000 people, you definitely want to follow 150 new people per day, 150 new people per day. And what you're going to do is you're actually going to drop the people that don't follow you after a 48-hour period. So after a two-day period, you're going to go ahead and drop those individuals. Now, there's also some other information that um, kind of came across. Well, what's the best time, you know, uh, during the day in order to uh, start following? And I tell you, it's between 6 o'clock and 10 o'clock on Monday through Fridays. On Sunday, generally the evening time because that is when Twitter is uh, at, its, at its peak. Okay, so people are on there. They're checking. They're tweeting. They're doing all kind of things. So if you're adding people at that particular time, then you're going to get people that are going to add um, people that are going to add you. Um, a lot quicker so that's what you definitely want now as far as about who to follow uh, what you want to do is this is depending on what what area you're in if you're dealing specifically with travel and you say hey I want to put groups together uh, things of that nature or if you're you're an internet marketer and you know and, and you're really interested in other internet marketers then those are the people that you know you're going to target so for example you might do a search on Bill Gates uh, if any of you guys have caught up on the information Bill Gates um, he's like at 300,000 followers now it's just a few days ago he finally got on Twitter and and people are going crazy so they're they're following him they, they want to know what he's talking about uh, what he's saying this is a perfect opportunity you want to follow people, okay, that are following Bill Gates if you're into, you know, technology, things of that nature, um, possibly investment, so on and so forth. Uh, so the people that are following him at this particular moment are people that are active. So you definitely want to do that. Um, there's also people like Robert Kiyosaki. Awesome. He's absolutely awesome. Um, his followers uh, which a lot of his followers too are into marketing, internet marketing, network marketing, um, you know, businesses and things of that nature. So, uh, I would definitely follow individuals from Robert Kiyosaki. Uh, as far as the travel part of his concern, you know, you might follow American Airlines. You might follow Delta. Some of you guys probably didn't know that they were on there. Yeah, and they actually tweet special deals that they only do on Twitter and nowhere else. So that's why people follow them. So uh, their followers are also individuals that you would probably want to add. Okay. Now, um, what you're going to find when you start adding people uh, uh, from a specific person is you're going to you're going to see a lot of different faces that are there. And you know, and sometimes you you really want to kind of pay attention on who it is that you're adding because sometimes you can get things on there. You know. Uh, People that you know deal in things like you know pornography, so on, you, you know you don't want to follow people like that. You don't want them tweet, uh, you know, tweeting, uh, okay, and then your followers seeing what their their tweets are. So you know sometimes you just kind of want to keep your eye open, but you don't want to follow, okay, individuals that don't have pictures of themselves uh, for avatars, okay. Um, if if they've got like you know pictures of uh, things that deal with Twitter like the Twitter birds and so on and so forth, no, don't don't waste your time. Don't follow them because typically those are bots. Okay, and uh, so you know you you tweeting won't get two bots because 
obviously, you know, <laughs> there's not going to be any kind of response whatsoever. So uh, definitely uh, people that have pictures uh, of themselves, uh, sometimes uh, it, it may be pictures of animals and other little things like that. And, you know, you kind of take a look at the, you know, you kind of take a look at the avatar and decide from there if you want to add them. Okay. Now, how are we going to drop people that aren't following us? There's this absolutely phenomenal tool, which is called Twitter Karma. And, and the link is actually going to be right on there because the, the link is actually something else. But it's called Your Twitter Karma. It is phenomenal. Um, this will allow you to drop those individuals that are not following you um, so that you can uh, resume uh, with adding more people. Because remember, Twitter will only allow uh, a certain percentage. Uh, usually, generally, it's like 10%, um, but they'll only allow a certain percentage um, uh, depending on the amount of followers that you have uh, that you can actually add. Okay. So, you know, stay to the 150 for right now. Uh, I'll give you more information a little bit later um, on, you know, on when you should increase and, and, and so on and so forth. But that's going to be super helpful uh, for you. Okay. Now, uh, the last thing is this is, uh, as I stated yesterday, I said, hey, guys, remember, this is the cyber age. Okay. Um, you know, whether your business is global or your business is about to go global, you need to be in it. Um, and I'm saying that as far as with Twitter, it, it's okay for you to have a couple accounts, uh, even three accounts with Twitter. Uh, have one that's personal. Have one that's business. Okay. Uh, never put all of your eggs uh, in one batch, I should put it. Uh, so uh, definitely have a couple accounts there. Uh, with uh, excuse me, with uh, with Facebook, you want to have a couple accounts. You want to have a business account. You also want to have a personal account, your business account, you should be adding people, whether, you know, whether they're other, you know, marketers, internet marketers, or, you know, just people that seem like they may be interested in what you're interested in. And with Facebook, if you're going to add people, I say, hey, about 30 people per day. Don't go beyond that, uh, beyond that within a 24 hour period because Facebook will delete your account. They are good for doing that. So you definitely want to be uh, careful on that. With uh, Twitter, like I said, about 150 per day. Uh, and you'll definitely see your numbers uh, grow. Also, please make sure that on Twitter that you're you're tweeting. Okay, um, it's not just uh, something that you've got automated, but you know you you get on there and you tweet every once in a while. You say something. You know you have a conversation with people. What you'll discover is uh, you'll start building these relationships with individuals and meet people that have knowledge about things that could really assist you uh, in your business and in life, you know, in, in, in many areas. So um, that's uh, that's my little soapbox, soapbox talk. But uh, guys, I'm, I'm excited. This is Friday. Uh, I'm going to enjoy myself. Um, had this phenomenal seminar that I was uh, at, just full of things that I'm just excited to, to talk to you about. Uh, but I'm going to be relaxed this weekend, so I might put something out for you uh, maybe Sunday evening, uh, if not definitely on Monday. But uh, like I said before, questions, leave them there. And uh, as I always say, keep on tweeting, and you have a good weekend. Bye-bye.